I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at City Hall for another tourist in your own town excursion. This is the oldest city hall in continuous use in the country. It's a city and national landmark, and it's considered one of the most beautiful public buildings of its era. The building was completed in 1811. John McComb Jr. and Joseph Francois Mangin designed the exterior in a French Renaissance style. The columned entrance portico is capped by a balustrade, with another balustrade at the roof. The dome cupola holds a statue of justice. This was the first American city hall built in a park. It was meant to show Boston and Philadelphia that New York had arrived. The park contains an elaborate 1871 fountain by Jacob Ray Mould, a statue of early American patriot Nathan Hale, and a liberty pole. That recognizes this as the site of the city's first public protest against the British. The interior of City Hall is in American federal style and has several landmarked areas. One of the loveliest is the soaring domed rotunda, highlighted by fluted Corinthian columns and a great floating marble staircase. Both Abraham Lincoln and Ulysses S. Grant lay in state here. The governor's room is at the top of the stairs. It has served as a ceremonial office and reception room. President James Monroe, the Marquis de Lafayette, and Dr. Martin Luther King were among those celebrated here. The room contains a desk used by George Washington and a prized collection of American portraiture. The second floor council chamber features impressive ceiling murals representing civic virtues. It has gilded moldings, a polished mahogany dais, and a life-size statue of Thomas Jefferson. City Hall has undergone multiple restorations through the years and will soon enter its 203rd year of service. There are regular tours of portions of the building, so come see where history was made and where history continues to be made daily.